Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll talk about the new Spider-Man game at a later date. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Big Blue Show. And uh, today we're going to be reviewing an anime. If you watched my last video, I uh, said I was going to review Panty and Stocking. And I am. But I have one problem. How do I describe this? I mean, like, literally. If you know Panty and Stocking, you kind of understand. How do I describe this show? Because this show is crazy, insane. It's just wonderful. I think the best way I can describe it is this, if you take every dirty comedy that's known to man and put and combine it with anime, you might get it with a little bit of Supernatural. Because that's basically what it is. So, Pantheon Stalking. Pantheon Stalking is about two angels from heaven. One was named Panty and one was named Stalking. There are two angels from heaven. And they were kicked out for having bad attitudes. Yeah. How they end up in heaven, I have no idea. So, Penny and Stockings, they are on a journey trying to trying to get way back to heaven. Which, they didn't know how to do that. They just got to collect a certain amount of these golden coins when they defeat demons. Yeah, that's basically all they gotta do. I mean, that's basically the whole show. It really is. That's basically the whole show. The whole show is about Panty and Stocking and them defeating demons, getting gold coins, and trying and trying to find and get enough to go back to heaven. That's really it. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. I'm pretty sure if they do go back to heaven. They're going to be automatically kicked it out because they still have bad attitudes. Yeah. So let's talk about them. Both those two for right now. Then we'll get to the other characters in a minute. Let's start with the main girl, Blonde Bimbo Panty. Panty is, well... Huh. Well... She, uh... Try to make this as PG as possible, but I don't think I'm going to be a uh, be. I don't think that's going to be possible. She's a slut. Yeah, she, she's a slut. Yeah, and her power is when she takes off her panties, they turn into a gun and they fire, and they kill demons. Yeah, and she's mostly the one that mostly does the final does the final blow. Yeah, this is going to be rated R review. I'm going to say that now. So, yeah. She, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yep. They, her panties turn to a gun and they, she fires them and they destroy demons. Yep. And she's pretty much a badass. She's pretty cool. She, uh, has some moments. She's basically the star of the whole show, okay? Because, I mean, come on. First, first name of the show is Panty and Stocking. I mean, there's Panty and that's the main person. I mean, like, she takes over the entire ending of the, of the show. Yeah. We'll get to that till, till later. We'll get that till later. So, yeah. So, she came, so, besides her, she, we have, she also has her sister, Knee Sock. I mean, Stocking. I get Knee Sock and Stocking mixed up, because it's basically their same name. It's just the name of the characters. We'll get to that later. And she, and, uh, she's basically a sugar lover. And she's emo. That's basically it. So, yeah. And her power is when she takes takes her knee, her her uh, stockings off, they turn into swords. So, yeah. And also, if she takes off her panties, she and she gives it to Panty, they both turn to 
both two guns. So yeah, there's also there that too. So eh. yeah. So what what is my pain on these? These two are really funny. They are hilarious. I like it when they get into arguments and they almost they almost destroyed the whole world in a weird transformer death battle. Yeah. It was really funny. It's really cool. Yeah. So which of these two is my favorite? I don't like them both. I mean, like none of them. I mean, I don't can't really pick out a favorite. I mean, like they're really cool. So yeah. Oh, one thing about them: they both cuss every five minutes. They gotta say a cuss word every five minutes, even when they turn their, to even when they start doing their somewhat transformation mode. Moment they say the F bomb at the end of it, so hey. Yeah, so yeah, they're both cursing angels. Eh, yeah well. So let's get on to the to the other characters. Let's start with Garter Belt. Cause the main title the really the whole title of the of, of the uh of of the show is called Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt, but Garter Belt is like in between Panty and Stocking. If you see the Logo of the show, you understand what I mean. So, yeah. He is their caretaker slash person slash. Just be honest, I don't even know what he does. What he does. Though you do know about him, I mean, he is in the show and he's basically. He's ba I mean, really, he's their. He's, he is their caretaker, caretaker slash priest of the show. Because every show that has angels gotta have a priest. Live on. But he ain't your average priest. Yeah, he has some weird fetishes. Yeah. Some weird ones. He also, he, he also has an alter ego, which I don't remember the, the, his alter ego's name, but... All I can tell you is that if you watch the one where they do basically a Naked Mile ver Naked Mile episode, which is, you know, if you don't know what Naked Mile is, it's the American Pie little spinoff movie, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's in that, and also he's like an episode where painting and stalking are going against two other characters in, on the beach. Next, we'll talk about Chuck. He's Chuck. There's nothing that much. He's apparently, apparently invulnerable, and I think he's a demon. Eh, he comes in and out. Next, let's talk about Garf. Garf, he's in love with Panty. He's basically the most innocent character in this entire show. Boy, I feel bad for him. Oh, yeah. So let's get on to the to the last two. Who are actually is my who, my two most favorite characters in the entire show, and I'll get to them, and I'll get I'll get to reason why. First, let's talk about Scanty, Demon Sisters. Scanty, she is the she is she's basically a the opposite version of Panty. I mean, like, she basically has the same powers as her, where she takes off her panties and they turn to guns, too. But she's, like, the alter version. Yeah. And then, then there is Nisok. She's basically the alter version of... 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 Uh, of... Uh, of stalking. And... Yeah. So, what is it about these two that I like a lot? They are ridiculously, ridiculously polite. They are elegant. They are, they are, they just, they never really say a bad word. They never drop the F-bomb ever. And they're kind of my favorite, they're one of my favorite characters of this entire show. Every time they're on the screen, I'm thinking, Oh my gosh, what are they going to do next? Because they always try to find a way to destroy Panty and Stocking. And that's what she, that is their main goal. And I just want to figure out what is... Uh, every time they're on there, I just want to figure out what they're going to try next. Because they go 
above and beyond and all that. And if, if they fail, they're ridiculously polite about it. But yeah, but sometimes they do get like a little hot-headed and they get kind of, you know, a little mad about it. But they, once again, they're still like polite. They're elegant. It's funny. I'm thinking, wait, hold on. How are these two demons and how are these other two angels? It is, it is weird. I'm still trying to figure that out to this very day. How do these two end up being going to hell, where these two end up going to heaven? I mean, I know these two are demons, and usually demons are created in hell, but, you know, I'm still thinking. How? Huh? Oi! So let's talk about uh, Scanty and Isak. They, they're just, like I said, elegant, polite, and rivals to Panty and, and Panty and Stalking. It's basically what they are. And I love them. They're funny. I enjoy them. Though if I had to pick one of my favorite out of these two, I would have to take Scanty, because she's just... I like her. Just... Yeah. So... Yeah, that's basically the all-character. So... How did I end up discovering this show? Because this is something, this is a story you got here. As you know, I'm a big fan of anime, and that's basically sometimes the reviews I do on here, besides comic book ones and Marvel movies. I like anime. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this is not an anime, I'm just going to move on. And then, it, then I watched, like, a top ten list of top ten anime to watch, and, and it ended up being on there. I was like, huh? That's not an anime, that's a cartoon. So I checked it out, and that's basically on before I started, like, being subscribed to a uh, anime streaming service, Funimation Now, I recommend it. It's really good. And, um, and I watched it. I was like, this is really good. This is really good. And I liked it. I told one of my friends about it, and he liked it. He watched it and everything. Yeah. I basically did not think it was, it was on, it was on, like, one of those illegal anime watching sites. I'm not going to say the name. I'm not going to say anything about it. And it was on there, I'm thinking, this is not anime. Why is this on here? And then I, you know, ended up watching it later on, and, you know, I liked it. I like it. I like it a lot. So, if you watch my review of Ruby, I said there's a different, I consider Ruby and Avatar in the genre as American anime. I'm not going to put Pantheon Stocking in there because it is considered an anime, but I consider it a different kind of anime. Hear me out on this one. Pantheon Stocking is not your traditional anime. It has a different style. Yes, it was made in Japan. Yes, it was... Yes, it was made there. It is, you know, made by a Japanese company. Gainax, I hate you so much. And, um... Yeah, but here's the thing. From what I last when I heard about when I heard when I heard the show, uh, when I when I um heard that the show was popular in Japan, but I also heard it was more popular here in America because it's not really like a traditional anime. Yes, there's like some moments and scenes where yes, there's like moments and scenes that they do a traditional anime, but that's only for like. The, you know, changing moments. That's really it. And for the music video for a moment too. So hey, get that, watch that show. And, um, yeah. I consider this, uh, I really consider it traditionally anime. I do consider it an anime, don't worry. But I also consider it a anime cartoon an anime cartoon kind of maybe 
Because let's be honest, it's not really a traditional way. It's really cool, and it's really inspired by Western culture. Heavily. Really heavily expired by Western culture. So, I consider it an anime cartoon. That's what kind of genre I'm, I'm, I'm that's, that's kind of genre I think I put it in. I mean, it is an anime, but it's also kind of like a cartoon. It's an anime cartoon. See? Hey, if, if Netflix can make any, can, can make, can make any genre they ever want, so can I, okay? Don't hate me on it, but I just, that's what I consider. I consider an anime cartoon. So now let's talk about the most controversial moment in this show. Because... Damn it, Gynax, why? You know what Gynax is? They're the ones who... Who... Who made this, really. Yeah, they're the ones who made this show. Made this. And if you're known for them, they're also the ones who made... Gurren Logan and some other shows. And if you know their reputation, you know they have the reputation for the worst endings ever. I'll never forgive you on Gurren Logan's ending. I'll never forgive you on that one. So, yeah. But, at first, the ending for this was actually really good. It was really active. It was very action-y. Had some pretty cool moments. It went off with a blast. I'm telling you, did that damn dirty sack of shit ending. After the battle was over and they won Dodge City, which is that is the uh, place where the show was is made up and everything. So after they did that, saved the day and everything. They decided to do a twist ending. Yeah. Paint is stalking. She can't see, you know, she comes back from heaven and everything. And then all of a sudden she asks, wonder if she asks her sister, Panty, if these weapons that they have can harm them. And she's like, I don't know, maybe. And then all of a sudden you see that see stalking with a sword in her forehead and then you see a uh, niece stalking you know make a swift swambe with her put her in little pieces and everything else and then you see the main demon dude say ha 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 i gotcha and then stalk, stalking, she remits that she might be, uh, she's actually a demon and everything. And that kind of makes sense in a way. And then you see them walking away to another city and say, if you ever want to save your, save your precious panty, you got to come follow, get all the pieces and try to save her. Yeah. And it says, to be continued. So, you kind of think, there's going to be a season two. There's actually going to be another season. You don't know what year this show came out? 2010. It's been eight years. And this episode came out on Christmas Day. Came out on Christmas. And you know what everyone says? This is the day that Guy Next ruined Christmas for everybody. Because a lot of people liked this show. Everyone loved it. And when they heard that it was going to be a to be continued, but it actually never happened, and with that jackass ending, it kind of makes you think, well, guy next, you are a bunch of trolls. Yeah, that ending sucks. And it, and it, and I learned thing, I think it takes place after the credits. I think so. Anytime the the after, after the when they see when anytime I rewatch the show and they I see them defeat the enemy, 
that's and I see the credits. I just stop right there. Stop it right there. I don't want to see that lame ass ending, and I just move on. Yeah, that's what I do. I do that every single time because that ending is just wow. And I imagine that they just live happily ever after. Nothing happens because really, that's what really should have happened. Did y'all not learn from shows, from other movies, from the from from years past when they set up an ending and then never it set up for a sequel and it never happens? Did y'all never learn from that? I mean, seriously, yeah, <sighs> yeah. And from from what I know of, my information right now, there's no plans for a second season. Though they were, I mean, like there was like. There was like like teasers for it, but that never happened. I don't know what the second season was to be called and everything. I think it was supposed to be called Garf and Chuck with Garda Belt, maybe. I don't know. Oh well. So, what is my final verdict? Well, I never just say how to do these final verdicts. I put these things down as my final verdicts, as my enjoyment, my my liking of the animation, and I, like how, and also how it how it, and how. That's basically it. my enjoyment, the animation, music, and how much I like the characters. And I'm going to give this show an 8 out of 10 for two reasons for two reasons why I don't give it a, nine, a, a 10 out of 10 and a 9 out of 10. Two reasons. One, that ending. Two, it's too short. Yeah, I think it was too short. I think they should have gave us more and, and then some, you know. Because I think they could have, I think they could have gone with the first season a whole lot longer, maybe about twenty-five episodes. Instead, I think we got like thirteen. I think they should have made it twenty-five episodes long, and then you know, I don't know, maybe and and maybe if they wanted to make, you know, panty and stocking into enemies, they could have like you know, like done, you know, like a like some shows do, like a like a curve, changing the show's narrative at the middle of the season, and then. I didn't have them all back together, you know, maybe. I don't know. That would have been pretty cool, you know, I just see what happens next. But they made only 13 episodes, and to me, that's not enough. I think there should have been more. I think it should have been longer. So, yeah. So, 8 out of 10 for those two reasons why. So, yeah. So, let me give you some recommendations before I end end this. For, if you're in a, for another mood for a anime like Panty and Stocking that has rude humor and all that, I recommend um, FLCO. It has some pretty funny things, and that show is really funny. And another another recommendation. If you like, you know, over the top action, which this show kind of has that, I recommend the other guy next show. Gurren Logan. I'll get to that review to that at another date. So, yeah. I hope y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this. I am the Big Blue, and uh, what am I gonna review next? Cause I like to put a little previews. What I'm gonna review next? Huh? What should I review next? Huh. Since I'm in the mood, since I've been going on doing good, doing anime reviews, I think I am going to review the first arc of One Piece. The East Blue. Hope y'all see y'all next time for that one, and see y'all later. Hello, I hope you enjoyed that video. 
stick around. Just watch some of my other stuff. And if you're not already, please subscribe. And also hit the little bell button to be notified when my next video is up. So, yeah. Do that. And, um, I'm going to watch some shows. See you later.